Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects webinar snippet. These snippets include excerpts of webinars that are accessible by going to our website at www.performancearchitects.com and registering for our Learning Center, a community and forum for on-demand business education in the business intelligence and enterprise performance management arenas and related topics. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and processes. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We're focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Thanks, Kirby, and thanks, everyone, for attending today's webinar on Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition. One of the first items I'd like to discuss is an overview of what Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition is. The key aspect to understanding Oracle Business Intelligence is that it's not just a collection of business intelligence tools. In fact, OBIEE is a highly integrated BI platform consisting of six interdependent components that exist between you and your data. The first important component of the Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise is the BI server service, which is a dynamic SQL generation engine, basically. This service relies on a metadata repository, which contains data definitions and business rules from your organization. Metadata is simply data about data. It's also an abstraction of your physical data as well. The second component of Oracle Business Intelligence is the BI Presentation Service. The BI Presentation Service is a web engine that wraps data it receives from the BI server service and in XML and HTML and then sends it to your internet browser for viewing. The BI Presentation Service works with an XML repository, which is called the Presentation Catalog. The web catalog contains information about reports and dashboards, which we will cover in an upcoming section. The third and final component of Oracle Business Intelligence is the BI Scheduler Server Service, which is a scheduling, alerting, and delivery engine that sends multiple types of content to mail and mobile devices. Now let's talk about a little bit about the history and evolution of Oracle Business Intelligence. So, Business intelligence is still a new and evolving technology when compared to other tra traditional transactional systems and technologies. In fact, it wasn't until 1989 that uh, someone named Howard Dresner, later a famous Gartner Group analyst, proposed business intelligence as an umbrella term to describe the concepts and methods to improve business decision making by using fact-based support systems. Then eight short years later, a product called Enquire Server Suite began forming the foundation of what was to become Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition that we have today. From the mid-1990s to today, Oracle Business Intelligence has held true to its original value proposition, which is integration of historical and operational data sources, enabling the delivery of centralized self-service actionable information that is complete, timely, and relevant to multiple user groups. One of the key features of Oracle Business Intelligence is its ability to hide the complexity of underlying data by presenting it to users in a way that they think about it, and not the way a particular application dictates. This concept involves driving the complexity out of data as it's moved from the transactional source systems to the data warehouse presenting the most relevant and useful information to the end users through the process of dimensional modeling. Now, a little bit about dimensional modeling for those of you on the call that are not familiar with it. Um, dimensional modeling, in summary, is a data design technique involved, involving the creation of physical and logical data structures that are designed to support the delivery of large amounts of data necessary for support of business intelligence delivery systems. Dimensional modeling in and of itself is, uh, can be summarized in four steps. Uh, and these, this is widely known from Ralph Kimball's uh, publications uh, many years ago uh, in, in terms of the, the technique itself. And it basically involves describing the business process on which a model is built, 
and we'll talk a little bit about that further in, into the presentation. Declaring the grain or aggregation of, of the data, which, which really means talking about what level of, of, um, of granularity that you're looking at in terms of the overall data content. Identify the dimensions on which your, you know, your data is built. So these are the descriptive items of your data, um, things that describe your products, et cetera. And finally, identify the facts. And these are your num numerical um, data items that, can be, that are going to be aggregated and measured. Oracle Business Intelligence can span multiple sources of information and connect them to its metadata model, providing a substantially clearer discovery channel for knowledge management through the single source of truth. 